There are four common approaches to aspirating or injecting the knee. These include the medial retropatello, lateral retropatello, anterior and suprapatello approaches. Aspiration of the knee, like any other joint, is often done for diagnosis. Aspiration can also be therapeutic, as removing large tense effusions can certainly reduce pain. Indications for injection include corticosteroid delivery for advanced osteoarthritis and inflammatory arthropathies such as rheumatoid arthritis. The lateral retropatellar approach is often used as well and will be demonstrated in this video. Identify the superior and inferior poles of the patella. Lateral injections are done in line with the junction of the upper and middle thirds. Palpate the groove underneath the patella. It is helpful when landmarking and needling to apply pressure with the other hand medially to try to tilt the patella and open up the lateral space. Using a retractable pen, mark a point within the deepest part of the groove. Lateral retropatella injections are done with the patient lying supine and the knee extended. These injections should always be done using sterile precautions. A no-touch technique is used, meaning that once the area is cleaned, it must not be touched with anything but sterile needles. Scrub the site of injection and then clean in an outward fashion. Here I am using a mixture of 2% chlorhexidine and 70% isopropyl alcohol. Alternatively, you can use providing solution followed by alcohol. Local anesthetic can be applied to the skin and subcutaneous tissue down to the joint capsule using a 25 gauge needle, but experienced clinicians may forego this. If you anticipate difficulty or expect to aspirate fluid, which would mean a longer procedure, then you should use local anesthetic first. Here I have a mixture of 60 mg of Depometrol mixed with 2% xylocaine without epinephrine to a volume of 5 ml and I am using a 22 gauge 1.5 inch needle. Apply pressure on the patella medially to tilt it up laterally and open up the joint space. Advance the needle gently through your mark, aiming medially and a bit inferiorly, with the syringe held horizontally. If bone is encountered, you should redirect the needle. You will feel a give as the needle breaches the joint capsule. Always aspirate to ensure that you're not in a blood vessel, and then inject the solution. This should go in freely. If there's any resistance, then withdraw and adjust the needle accordingly. Finish off by drying the site and applying a bandage.